Welcome to Lockdown Learning IGCSE students. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to put a video together for exercises 1.24 and 1.25. If you are, or if you did have any trouble with those, um, do let me know, and um, it's probably easier that I go back over that when we get into school. But I, I think it probably should have been fairly self-explanatory if you read the introductory material. But today, uh, this, this little video is gonna be on polygons, and we're gonna be focusing on interior angles, and exterior angles. So I've selected um, a few questions um, that you aren't doing in, in your um, exercise books. Uh, so the first one is two. The four angles, uh, four of the angles of a pentagon are 123, 84, uh, and 113 and 96. Calculate the fifth angle. Now, the first thing to re remember is we know the angles of a pentagon uh, are going to be, uh, whoops, what am I doing? 180 degrees uh, multiplied by the number of sides in subtract two. So this in here is the number of sides. So in this case, uh, we're going to be 180 into uh, in uh, a pentagon has five sides, so it'll be five minus two, which is three. And so the sum of the interior angles is 540 degrees. Now, all we need to do therefore to find the missing angle, uh, we'll call it x, sorry, x, um, equals uh, 540, which is the total that our interior angles must add up to, subtract, and then I'm just gonna add all of these other angles, 84 degrees, 113 degrees, and uh, 96 degrees. I'm gonna bracket them, and then I'm gonna chuck that into my calculator and see what I get. Now, what do I get? Whoops. Uh, well, it turns out to be 124. Hopefully that's right. Ho hopefully I haven't made an error there. Um, degrees. Okay. Now let's move on to number six here. Polygon has 10 sides. Calculate the sum of the interior angles. Now, we know that the sum of the interior angles is 180 degrees times n minus two. In this case, we have a 10-sided polygon, so it's going to be 10 take away two in the bracket, so that ends up being eight. And when we chuck that into our calculators, we're gonna get 1,440 degrees. See the arrow there, okay. Now, uh, we're gonna look at this one. We've gotta find x, which is this angle here. Now, um, okay, it's how many angles have we got? One, two, three, four, five. Again, it's a pentagon. Now, I know that a pentagon, because I did this work up in the first question, has interior angles that add up to 540. So, uh, for this one, I know that 540, which is the total, is going to equal x plus 120, I'm just gonna go around clockwise, plus two x, plus 150, plus 96. Now, in my next line, I'm gonna bring all of the numbers over to the left-hand side, so I'm gonna type in, in my calculator, say 540, subtract 120, subtract 150, subtract 96, and I'm gonna get 174. And on the right hand side I can see that I've got uh, three x's so I'm going to go like that and then to find out what x is equal to I'm just going to divide my 174 by 3 which gives me um, 58 degrees okay the last one number nine uh, so we have an exterior angle of a regular polygon 
which is eight times the size of an e exterior angle. Okay, now the key here that you need to realize is the interior plus exterior equals 180. That's the key. I think that would have been in your preparation. So uh, if the ex interior is eight times the size of the exterior angle, let's say exterior equals x. Um, therefore, interior equals 8 times that. And we know that 8x plus x, or x plus 8x, is equal to 180. And therefore, 9x is 180. Um, therefore, x is 20. Uh, therefore, uh, 9x is uh, 160. Now, why am I doing the 160? I'm just going to move over here. Um, well, oh, 8x is 160. Wake up. Okay. Why am I doing that? Well, that's the interior. That's the uh, interior angle. So the formula for interior angle is 180 degrees for a regular polygon. It's 180 degrees multiplied by n minus 2 all over n. Uh, the top of this formula is the sum of the interior angles. So we'll add, it, add all of the interior angles together. And if it's regular, all you need to do is divide by the number of angles or the number of sides, same thing, and you will get... Uh, the individual angles. So that's what I've done there. And I know that they add to 160 because I found that out down here. Okay, now I'm going to uh, move, uh, expand my brackets to get 180 n minus 360. And that's all going to be over n. And that's equal to 160. My next line, I'm going to pull that n across. So I'm going to get 180 n minus 360. Uh, is equal to 160n of times both sides by n. Uh, and then my next line, I'm going to go 180n minus 160. So I've pulled my 160n across, equals 360. And then I'm going to get 20n equals 360. And then I'm going to get n equals uh, 18 sides. So that gives you, oh, how many sides does it have? That's our answer, it's got 18 sides. And that is the answer to that one. All right, well, I hope that gives you enough to go on with. Um, very similar skills will be needed for the rest of the exercise.